weekend. You know what time that is? It's FOC time. And that is why you are here this evening. Listening to the sounds of my voice. I am the Ultra Maximus. Welcome everybody to the wonderful extravaganza that is known as the Secret Variant. And whether you are a store or you are just a fan, this is how you avoid the FOMO. Come join us while we dive through this list of FOC books. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Leave me a comment if you are watching on the Rewind, of course. That is much appreciated to all the faithful people who do break the algorithm for me. And of course, click that notification bell for notifications for when we go live. Like and share the video, of course, that's the most important. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel because you know what? 1,100 plus of you are going to be entered into what's called the Ultra Box giveaway. Uh, it was my unlocked giveaway at 1,000. And now that they're there, well, I keep on loading this thing up with more and more and more. Comic Kingpin's in the house. Good to see you. And then, of course, uh, don't forget to subscribe because uh, that's the only way to be entered into the Ultra Box giveaway. While I am on hiatus, I will talk more about this one uh, a little bit later in the program. And uh, when the return's expected, the last episode of the Raw Report was pretty lit. You should check it out. You should check it out. New pickups and mail drops. The Raw Report. And you, of course, are watching The Secret Variant, and you don't want to miss the next episode because Ultra still keeps track of the FOC. And then, of course, the only thing that uh, would help out the Ultra Legacy is by uh, you helping maybe this thing go uh, viral. And uh, that's the Marvel Legacy, second printing homage, except for Thanos 13. Fifth print, of course. Uh, for all those uh, lenticular homages that were reprinted without the lenticular stuff, so you can actually see the awesome artwork. It makes a great set. Lots of spec in that set. You know, it also has a lot of spec. Marvel uh, Hip Hop variant set. And here is the platinum list that has all of them organized in a nice fashion, including the Marvel variant that, uh, or, or the uh, the original album, the Marvel variant homages. So check those videos out, share them. And of course, this is the feature channel section. Watch for an update. But please, of course, subscribe to all the people in, the, in my feature channel section. Those are all good peoples. But it's time to rotate the list, I think. Follows are always appreciated, whether it be on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, whether it be on any of those items. You can find the link to that on the channel homepage. Oh, Andre. Uh, thank you, Andre. I appreciate it. <laughs> no common kingpins you good man i appreciate you joining though for real uh it's always good to see big names in, in in the comic community in my live chat and uh of course you can follow me on facebook uh you want your maximus the same as my ig and of course if you guys want me on your show just hit me up on ig or you know you should honestly hit me up on twitter but i haven't shown you the twitter yet so uh but ultra maximus on whatnot as well be on the lookout for that return. And then, of course, X Ultra Maximus X is how to find me on Twitter. That is the easiest way to tag me. Want to be my friend? Follow me there. The one and only Money Mel V. I'm sorry I missed you guys on Drunken Chat. Of course, I've got, actually got a hectic work schedule right now. Um, and in fact, <laughs> Uh, I, I've got to go to work. I got bills to pay, so I'll be uh, doing the uh, doing the stream here, and then I'll be heading out the door. Make sure the family's secure, of course, all that good stuff. So uh, yeah, don't forget to tune into Drunken Chat on Friday nights and uh, Mighty Mel V. You know, don't forget to also pick up the Spawn Number One blanks for Mel's contest. I don't know what he's got up his sleeve yet, but we'll see what happens when they uh, they are in hand. And, of course, the soundtrack, of course, this evening is provided by our wonderful friends over there at Wipeout Audio. Carl Casey at Wipeout Audio. YouTube him uh, right here, Wipeout Audio. And then, of course, WipeoutAudio.com. And then, of course, Spotify is also available. So make sure you subscribe, follow them, all those other places. And, of course, check out that wonderful logo work. You know why that logo work is awesome? Because it's done by the man, the myth, the legend himself. Uh, with the license to ill officially in his pocket. Mr. Heard us, Eric. And check out that logo work right there. I mean, you, you honestly, you, you can't argue with this because he, he's great. 
And ComicBarricade.com helps keep your comic books upright in your boxes. And Comic Barricade XL is there to keep your slabs upright too. And you can use this code ULTRA to get you 10% off your books. Well, 10% off your books uh, staying in good condition. WannaComics.com. And unfortunately, I don't have a code to get you any <laughs> discounts on Wanna Comics at this time. Uh, however, don't forget uh, Wanna Comics dropping fire with Soza Micah on the regular. They also got some David Mack in the pipeline. Uh, and of course, follow Wanna Comics on WannaComics.com. You can follow them on IG as well. And then don't forget to follow them on Whatnot. And you're asking me what right now is Whatnot. Well, download Whatnot on the App Store as well as Google Play. And it is uh, really, really cool for the comic community because we got people out there selling comic books starting as low as $1 and 30 second auctions. I mean, no pressure, right? No pressure like now. Now. Now, uh, if you don't want to see me go to work, you can, of course, uh, provide uh, direct support at paypal.me slash ultra maximus. And... Uh, Super Chat isn't active yet, but once that Super Chat is active, maybe maybe I'll be able to rake in like a hundred dollar Super Chat, like uh like <laughs> like Drunken Chat did. That was awesome, but uh, unfortunately, uh, I have to go to work this evening. But I appreciate you all and the support you've thrown into the chat uh, into there before. Um, you guys are great, really really great, and I mean it from the bottom of my heart. You guys are the greatest viewers a YouTube streamer could ever ask for. Uh, and I am the Ultra Maximus. Welcome, everybody. This is the Secret Variant. We're about to kick this one off here. If you've never watched this show before or been to my channel, uh, I am a comic book idiot savant. Meaning, I know a lot about comic books uh, and uh, everything else. Uh, maybe, not, maybe, maybe, maybe it's taking place on some of my other knowledge in my life. Maybe not. Maybe I retain knowledge at a rate that is astronomical, which is how I earned the name Ultra Maximus. It is not just the name, everybody is a lifestyle, but I'm not here to brag about me and my skills. I'm just here to tell you about FOC. Uh, final order cutoff is due, and this is how we're going to do the show. So we've got the ability to go over all of the books that are on the final order list. And we're going to start at the top alphabetically for independence. And then we're going to work our way into Boom all the way down to Marvel of the major books. And T. Ravis Comics in the house. Good to see you, man. Uh, so uh, we're going to start at the top, everybody. And this is, of course, uh, you, you know, Black Oops. Who knows? There's always spec in a little bit of something I say. Uh, I, I, what am I buying is the question. But if you're really into the spec, uh, you should definitely watch the raw reports. There's a little bit more in there for you. But uh, let's get into it, everybody. And uh, I, I really appreciate all of you guys in the subscriber-only mode show. That's right, subscribers only. We keep it real round here. <laughs> uh, and, of course, tell your friends. Uh, come join up. Subscribe to the channel so they can interact with the chat, too. So let's get this one kicked off. This is the secret variant. Escape your FOMO. Get your pre-orders in. Spoilers ahead, of course, because we are looking at books that are coming out in three weeks at minimum and maybe some more maximum. But you know, this is the price we pay to not overpay for books. Starting off for first publishers of Blaze, this has got Life Zero, number five, cover A. There is your cover B variant, your cover C variant, and then, oh yeah, check out that homage. This is your 10 copy Chiquito, your 20 copy Virgin, your 30 copy Chiquito black and white. Stoked to have you. Action Lab dropping in the danger zone. We got Hemelin number one. Not a very clear picture either. I don't know what's up with that. But I work with what I got. Aftershock. Naughty list number three. So this is an interesting one. So we got some Ahoy books coming up on uh, final orders for 6-12-2022, everybody. And that's Justice Warriors number two. Cover A, Ben Clarkson. Here's your one, five, and seven. 
And of course, that's a lunar distribution, so it's going to be one of those things that's due next week. Next week. 612, 612. Chillin's, greens, and cornbread in the house. Good to see you, Lucas. And of course, if uh, you do not have an LCS, you do not have an online source, and you are a fan of drunken chat, and you are not using the pool box, I don't know what to tell you. But uh, for all the spec, for all the speculators uh, in, in here, uh, you know, for all my sharks with their with, with looking looking like they're lurking in the waters here. But uh, good to have everybody. American Mythology Productions, of course. And this is Monsters Volume Three, Number One, Cover A. Whoa, that's your cover B with some pasties. Volume 3, number 1, cover B. And then this is your Century Edition, so it's a 1 in 100 variant. This is your Beyond the Furthest Star Chronicles 50th Anniversary Edition, number 2, cover A. Cover B. Black and white. Living Corpse is getting a Relics 6-issue six, six reader pack. Scary Christmas, volume 2, number 1, with a cover A. Oh, that's not even a cover A. That's a Hassan original Frankenklaus. Cover G Kickstarter edition for Willy's Wonderland prequel. Man, they're still in the prequel? I thought the prequel was done by now. Anyway, so it's a murderous Wonderland with animatronics that look like the uh, old pizza time, if you know what that is. And you're ancient like I am. Antarctic Press, of course, drop in alias black and white number six of seven. But then they said, you know what? We're going to actually drop uh, FSC for issue number seven, but this time we're going to give you the cover. Cat Girl, number one, cover A. Cat Girl, number one, with a cover B. The Kitty Kick variant. Exciting Comics, number 21. Exciting Comics, number 22. And then Exciting Comics number 23 as well on the FOC. And then we've got Gold Digger number 289. And number 290. And 291. Hmm. Jungle Comics number 6. There's your cover A. No, just kidding. We don't get to see any of these. There's your Jungle Comics number 6. And that's your cover B by Tiki. And then this is Jungle Comics number seven, which is apparently old comic books colorized. Manga Z number one. Shout out to Heartless. I haven't talked to him in a minute. Niobe Origins number one, cover A. Here is your cover B by Courtney Rose. Planet Comics number six. Planet Comics, number seven. Punchline, number 13, cover A. Brad Ashworth. Punchline, number 13, cover B. Dragon Punch. Spectre-Man Heroes, number two of five. World War Three number four of five. The Battle Over Hakado. And then the Battle Over Hakado, number three. So, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, this is number four of five, but then here's number three of five. I wonder why they did those out of order like that. That's really, really weird. So, yeah, apparently they're not going to show you the cover for number four, but here, here's the cover for number three. They want you to order them both. Archie Comics. Drop an Archie Jumbo Comics Digest number 331. Jughead needs a lot of hands. We got a AWA, which is your artist, writers, and artisans, giving us Hit Me, number four. Was that the cow? Behemoth, Blind Alley, number three. And they also got a cover B. Here is your Dark Beach, number four of six. Heavy Metal Drummer, number six of six, gives you a cover A. And the cover B. And then this is the cover C. Space Lady number one. There's your Space Lady number one cover B. 
the cover C. And check with your dealer on incentives. There was, I believe, an incentive there that I might have missed. My apologies. Final orders due for Black Caravan Books. I showed you these last week, but if you uh, missed this, you can still maybe uh, beg and plead with your store to add them at this late hour. Behemoth number one. Because these are foc today. Behemoth number one uh, with a cover B, which is your 10 copy incentive. But you know what? You may actually have hope because now I'm seeing, even though a book FOC is on Lunar Distribution on Sunday, if it is a Black Caravan book, they are now FOCing tomorrow for previews. Vanity number two with a cover A. And then there's your 10 copy incentive to go along with that. Finishing it up. Black Caravan also giving you guys some books for next week. Mel loves that space lady, huh? That's awesome. I'm with him on that one. Pentagram of Horror, number three, cover A. Mature audiences only. Pentagram of Horror, number three, getting a cover B, 10 copy incentive. This is Rad Wraith, number two, finally. I remember this book coming out so long ago. But you know what? There's been a, obviously a lot of the books that were under the Black Caravan imprint that it looks like they are now kind of their own wheelhouse. Which I think is rad. <laughs> see what I did there? Do you see what I did there? I see what you did there. Comics Experience giving you final orders due next Sunday as well with the Disciple One Shot Cover A. The Cover B. And then the Cover C. Which looks surprisingly like the Cover B. Stud in the Blood Blade, number one metal edition. So, if you can't tell, this is a cross between He-Man and the Wizard of Oz. Oh boy, buckle your seatbelts, everybody. Because <laughs> apparently there's like some collected edition of that book, too. Mad Cave dropping the Speed Republic number five, cover A. This is number five, cover B. That's going to wrap it up for them. Merc Publishing comes back with Death Rage number one. Cover A, everybody, by Tyler Kirkham. And this is the Tyndall Magazine variant. Cover B by Jeffrey Edwards. Now, if you can't tell, this is um, a cross between Deadpool and Deathstroke, combining the two of the characters into something conveniently funny cover C is your <laughs> nothing to do with death rage himself apparently uh, 25 copy Tristan Tristar Thompson variant and then oh look here's the runner up to the Jean Grey for the, for the cover for the thumbnail I'm just kidding it was Jean Grey by a long shot even though I myself uh, had blue hair and I can relate to the blue hair girls I think uh this one's neat. Cheeky. Here's Miss Meow number two. Cover A. Here is the cover B. This is your 25 copy incentive. And then this is your 50 copy Ariel Diaz. Or Ariel Diz, I'm sorry. Risque variant. So that's pretty wild looking variants, right? Merck Publishing, everybody. They are on the map. Oni Press, of course, dropping for 612 also. Season of the Brua, number four of five. Nate 138, thank you for that. That's wild. So, Whiteout uh, Oni 25th Anniversary Foil Edition. So, uh... Rudy, I think number one already dropped, but number two is just FOC, and so we'll see three weeks-ish, if not more. Definitely get your order in at your LCS if you want that. Uh, I know there was also some convention exclusives, 
And, uh, yeah. White out Oni. No more Oni. But Opus. Making a triumphant return from a month ago. That is correct. FOC 5-1-2022. You will see the Crystal Planet cover A on FOC there. You know what else you saw? You saw this one, the Joe Satriani action figure variant. And uh, an old friend of mine who, unfortunately, I've lost contact with, was a huge guitar player. Plays the Ibanez guitar just like Satriani. And, uh, yeah. This right here is the 10-copy incentive by Satriani himself. Pretty wild. See? There, there you go, Nate. Thank you, Nate. That's awesome. All right, so Scout Comics giving us 6-5-2022 orders, and this is uh, Beyond the Beyond, so I showed you this one last week. Bush Leaguers number one I also showed you last week, and I also believe I showed you Distorted number five. But here's how they change the game, everybody. This is how they do it. Broken Eye number four next Sunday. Cities of Magic number three also next Sunday. And then Mullet Cop, The Flavor of Danger, One Shot, also pushed to next week. Ninth Wonder in the house. Good to see you, man. Scoot Comics, of course, now that Black Caravan is the adult horror imprint, right? Like adult stories, crazy horror, I guess. Uh, that's where they're going to put all that horror stuff. Scoot is their child's all ages approved imprint. 612 2022 has given us the Misadventurers. Number one. Expect there to be limited store exclusives and other scout exclusives, most definitely. Source Point Press giving us Buzzard and Bone, number three of four. And then we've got The Good Boy, volume two, number two. The Good Boy, volume two, number two, cover B. This one, I think, looks pretty cool. The blah, 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 blah. Oblivion Trials, number one. Ultramax number two of four. Just remember, I'm not locked in here with you. You're all locked in here with me! Quote thy Rorschach. And that's going to finish it up. Final orders due for Uncivilized, giving you the cartoon dialects. Now, this is, unfortunately, the best picture I could find of the final. It said the final issue, question mark, or is it? So, you know what that means. Vault Comics dropping Dead Box number three, cover A. And, of course, if you go back to last week's episode of The Secret Variant, you're going to see more Vault books than I'm showing you right now. Very strange. I wonder why that would be. Some pushbacks, everybody. So... Stay, stay caught up. I, I, I'm going to try to keep you up with me. Dead Box number three, cover B by Howell. Shadow Service number 13 with a cover A, and then the Hickman cover B. So those are on FOC today. And also, if you're going through previews, apparently they're on FOC tomorrow. But Vault looking into the future, the Barbaric was pushed back from Harvest Blades one shot. I've shown you this book multiple times already, but it's shown again to be pushed back to next week. And the cover B. Fox and the Hare, number two, cover A by Stacey Lee, also pushed back. No cover B shown. Giga, number five, cover A. No cover B shown. Quests Aside, number three, cover A. No cover B shown. Awesome Sauce. You did not miss anything. You are now in the party. Boom Studios dropping Buffy 97 number one cover A. Buffy 97 number one with the cover B. So if these are looking familiar to you, I showed them to you last week. So these are a pushback from Boom. Cover C, 10 copy incentive Yoshitani. 25 copy incentive Brokenshire. And then we've got... 
Buffy 97, number one. Covery. Seven Secrets, number 18. Cover A. Seven Secrets, number 18. Cover B. Seven Secrets, number 18. Cover C. 10 copy incentive. Mercado. And then the 25 copy version of that one. Unlockable. Unlockable. Yes, uh, Comic Kingpins, this is because we are in a time where they are rebooting everything and uh, trying to cancel, in fact, the creator of said Vampire Slayer series. But the, don't forget your unlockables, everybody, your unlockables. Dark Horse dropping Hellboy in the BPRD, Old Man Whitter, Whittier, Old Man Whittier. One shot. Cover B. Pearl 3, number 2 of the 6-issue miniseries. Cover A. Cover B. Well, Comic Kingpins, here's what I hope. I hope that everybody who agrees that it's such a great series, just like any other series that's out there right now, I hope that studios who do have the ability to actually manufacture product not just option them. Purchase the option rights from that boom product, manufacture it, turning it into a good story, and turn it into something visually able to be watched, to be adored by millions, thus causing an influx of people looking for the source material, aka the comic book, keeping a market alive. Let's see if it is that good, you know? That's basically what I'm saying. Like, if, if it is that good, I want to see all the good stories from these indie, indie, indie publishers that aren't Marvel get made into movies. Because it would just, it would do good for so many other people who are right now inspired to write, inspired to draw, who do, like I did as a kid. Take some paper, fold it in half, staple it together, draw on the pages, make your own comic. I even got my kid with some making comic stuff. We'll see what happens with uh, with Seven Secrets, but apparently that is the final issue. So we're on to Dynamite. That means we're almost done. Don't forget to smash that like button. Betty Page, Curse of the Banshee, J. Lee Metal Cover. Yo, Patrick, good to see you. Draculina number four, cover A. Draculina number four, cover B with Rose Besh. And uh, this one's wild. Uh, cover C by Galeem Mark. Cover D. Cover E is your cosplay. And there we go to Draculina cosplay, which is pretty awesome. Cover F10 copy incentive. Big Remo, I've been on for a while, man. We're in the, we're in the dynamites, but it's okay. It's okay. You're here now, and that's what's important. Thank you for joining. Draculina number four, cover G is your 20 copy incentive. Showing Galeon Mark's awesome art. Here's your best black and white. Cover I, Turner Limited Virgin. J oh, cover J, Rose Besh Limited Virgin. And dare I say, this is Rose Besh doing Momoko better than Momoko. There, I said it. I said it. You'd be mad at me for all that one. Or if you agree, go ahead and uh, make a donation. PayPal.me slash Ultramaximus to this comic book journalism endeavor that is what you're watching. Draculina, number four, cover K, <laughs> FOC. So uh, you guys remember uh, Jim Lee and uh, it's X-Men number five? Yeah, I got this one. That's Psylocke. That's supposed to be, uh, you know, a lot of stuff going on there. Draculina. I'm oh, sorry. That's that's X Men number six. X Men number six. Draculina number four. Cover L is your FOC. Oh, wait, wait. There's a whole bunch of FOC. Draculina number four. Cover M FOC. Rock to Lynn. The seven copy FOC incentive, the seven copy Turner black and white incentive, the seven copy FOC incentive cosplay virgin, the seven copy FOC incentive Gunda's black and white, the 11 copy Lee Homage Royale virgin, 
and then the Rock to Lin 11 copy incentive Virgin, and then the 15 copy FOC incentive Gunda's Virgin. 15 copy incentive Gulliam Mark Virgin. Cover L, good lord! Right? Cover A, Merca and Dolfo for Red Sonia number 10. It's funny. We know how this story ends up because they've already released the number one of Red Seath, the number one. You know, cover B with the Lee Ree Lee, she's great. Cover C is your Lindsner. And then we've got the cover D by Lau. Cover E cosplay. 10 copy Andolfo black and white. 15 copy Lau Virgin. 20 copy Incentive Lindsner black and white. And then we've got the Andolfo Lim limited virgin. The Lee Ree Lee limited virgin. The Lindsner Limited Virgin is coming. Libri Lee getting the Ultraviolet treatment. FOC by Castro. Seven copy FOC Incentive Cosplay Virgin. Seven copy FOC Incentive Castro Black and White. Seven copy FOC Incentive Lee Ribley Black and White. Ten copy FOC Incentive Lindsner Fiery Red. Lee Ree Lee, 10 copy FOC Ultraviolet. And then there's also going to be a 10 copy FOC Incentive Castro Virgin we did not get the artwork for. And then we're on to Vampiverse. Vampiverse presents Vamp. It's a one shot. But here's your cover A. The Garcia is pretty cool looking. The cover C cosplay. The cover D is your Blank Authentics. This is your cover E 10 copy incentive Garcia Virgin. The 20 copy Broxton Virgin. The cover G FOC main. And then the cover H 7 copy FOC incentive cosplay. 7 copy is your cover I, but unfortunately we didn't get the artwork for that one. Cover J is a 7 copy FOC incentive black and white Garcia. 11 copy FOC is the Broxton Black and White. And then we get the cover L, which is your Red Blank Authentics. Whew. We're through the Dynamite. Next up, we've got the IDW. And this is your Dark Spaces Wildfire number one, cover A. Cover B. Cover C. Cover D. The cover E blank sketch. And I looked for an incentive, and you know what? No incentive shown. Comic boom in the house. G.I. Joe, a real American hero, number 295, as they truck onto 300. They're really trying to get there. They're really, really trying to get there. Cover A, cover B, and oh boy, John Royale. John Royale, everybody. I think this one's going to do good. Baroness fans love the Snow Baroness. She's not a snow bunny. She is a... Uh, what would you call that? She is a snow wolf in a snow bunny suit with a silencer. She will kill you. Kill Lock, Artisan Wraith, number five of seven. Of course, this is the Livio Romandelli story. And yeah, yeah, never mind, Baroness, <laughs> right? So I love the uh, Livio Romandelli story because, of course, no variant covers, meaning no authentic ordering numbers. That's what one thing about doing a, a, a no variant book. TMNT Armageddon game opening movie. Oh, I'm sorry, game opening moves. Number one, cover A. This one does have a 10 copy incentive here. Transformers, the best of the beasts. So this is interesting. Uh, going after some Beast Wars classic stories and giving you an Optimus Primal by Biggie before the license runs out, just like G.I. Joe. We're on to Image. Image, of course, giving you the Department of Truth, number 19, with the cover A. And your cover B. 25 copy incentive. Not shown. Ghost Cage number three of three. Monstrous. 
number 41. Quite possibly another one of those books that no variant covers and it's amazing when it doesn't have a variant. Public Domain number one. Righteous Thirst for Vengeance. Something I should have an awful lot more of, but I am a very powerful man with a powerful will of self-control. Doesn't mean I forget. Rogue Sun number five with a cover A. Oh, you know, I... shame on me. Because I did forget. I just forgot to uh, put the incentive variant in there. Sons of Black Flamingo number 105. Did not have any variants. Spawn Scorched number seven, cover A. And cover B. What is up with you, sir? Good to see you, Joe. Spawn Scorched with a Matina cover. What's the furthest place from here? Number seven, cover A. There's your cover B by Hickson. The 25 copy incentive, and I think they finally ditched doing some of the other ones that they were doing. The deluxe one per store, but guess what? Second press edition for everybody who has to have this variant. So, good luck to all you one per stores. See about uh, getting your orders in tomorrow and uh, securing yourself for this one. If this is your book, very interesting way to market a book. How did they get the one per store? That's the, qu that's the crazy question. All right, everybody, we're on to DC. And of course, this is the stuff that we're looking at next week. I already showed you the list of stuff that closed this week. But we'll go back and look at that again here in a second. Uh, but 612, got Action Comics 1044 with a cover A by Lucio Perillo. This is your 1044 cover B. And then your cover C, the Charm Pride Month cardstock variant cover. Aquaman number five, cover A. Aquaman number five, cover B, by Miko Suyong. The cover C. Oh, you know what? I may have actually gotten, uh, this may actually be the stuff. This is actually the stuff for 6.5. I got the slides backwards. See? See what, see what happens when you rush? Batman Fortress number two, cover A. <laughs> the Antifa Batman stories, people are calling it. Uh... Tim Pool, at least. Uh, Batman Fortress number two, cover B. Gerardo Zafino. DC versus Vampires Killers number one. This is your one shot. So yeah, these are definitely the uh, the books I showed you last week. So this is the six five stuff, everybody. DC versus Vampires Killers number one, one shot cover C, twenty five copy incentive. I hear Catwoman and Harley variants are all the rage. And this one's pretty fire. Do you like cake? Deathstroke Incorporated number 10, cover A. Cover B by Ivan Tao. Deathstroke Incorporated number 10, cover C. 25 copy incentive variant. So this one's wild looking like... Uh, there's a Black Canary down there with Deathstroke, and he's uh, got like the Skull of Medusa. He's got all sorts of stuff in his arsenal, man. That's 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 pretty impressive. I mean, I gotta be honest, that's pretty impressive. But does it play Nirvana's territorial pissings when you trigger it by Alexa when you have Intruder? And I suggest you don't intrude in my home to find out what plays, because it's territorial pissings. Detective Comics 1061 cover A with a Tali Al Ghul Batarang to the back. Detective Comics 1061 cover B by the Lee Bermejo cardstock variant cover. Detective Comics 1061 cover C, 25 copy incentive regular variant. Harley Quinn 16 with the cover A by Riley Rosmo. Harley Quinn number 16, cover B by Derek Chu. Harley Quinn number 16, cover C in your Oliver Koypel Pride Month cardstock variant. Harley Quinn number 16, cover D with your Ivan Tao cardstock. 
Justice League versus the Legion of Superheroes, number four of six, cover A, and then you have a Travis Moore cardstock, cover B, with Black Shazadam. Robin, number 15, with a cover A, and of course, he's got the family photo. Cover B by Simone DeMeo. Cover C, 25 copy incentive. So it's a connecting cardstock variant. And, uh... Yeah, there's uh, Batman, and I guess that's Livewire's dad going, what the hell? And then uh, Robin number 15, cover D, with your Pride Month cardstock variant cover. Suicide Squad Blaze, number three of three, cover A. And your cover B, and of course, Amanda Waller with her chest pieces. Very cool looking cover. Swamp Thing, number 14, there's your cover A, Mike Perkins. And your cover B. A little bit more on the wild side. Task Force Z, number 9 of 12, cover A. And then here is your Cully Hamner cardstock variant cover. 25 copy incentive. Wrapping it up for the 6-5 2022 DC books. And, uh, yep, see, I got the slides backwards, so that was the 6-5 list. Here is your 6-12 2022. So stuff on FOC next week. You'll see this again next week. Aquaman and the Flash Void Song, number two, cover A and cover B here. Batgirls, number eight, with a cover A by Jorge Corona. Audrey Mock doing the cardstock. 25 copy incentive by Rian Gonzalez. Batman, number 125, with a uh, your Jorge Jimenez cardstock. Or, oh, I'm sorry, cover A. There's your cardstock variant. Oh my God, look. Batman 125 cover B with a Jim Lee and Scott Williams cardstock variant cover. It's pretty awesome looking. Here's your Del Otto cardstock variant cover. Oh, like that's not awesome too. Oh, and Yuck Lee. You know, and Yuck Lee. Matina. Simone DeMeo. And it's an acetate variant. 25 copy Jorge Jimenez wraparound cardstock. Jock 50 copy foil variant. 25 copy incentive by Alex Garner. It's going to be a foil incentive. And then you have a 1 in 250, not to be confused with a 250 copy store of exclusive. This is. A 250 copy Chip Zdarsky cardstock variant incentive. One in 500 Jim Lee Scott Williams cardstock variant. We'll see what happens by next week. By next week, there may be a 250 copy, you know, like store exclusive, like someone doing a uh, Batman 125. So they get a whole bunch of incentives. Batman Beyond Neo Year number four, cover A. Cover B is your Christian Ward cardstock bearing cover. All right, all right, all right. Batman Killing Time number five. There's your cover B. And this is the first of many Penguin variants. Look, they, they wore out the Riddler variants afterwards, and there hasn't been too much on the Penguin side. But let me also just point out that Ben Oliver I've been sweating Ben Oliver's work forever and it's nice to actually see him getting play congratulations to Ben Oliver getting a book on a hot list that wasn't even released here's one that's not even been released yet too same book I think but that was issue 4 Catwoman cover so this one's neat Batman Urban Legends number 17 cover A. Jimmy Chung with the J. David Ramos artwork combo. Cover B. Cover C. That's wild. That's wild. Batman Urban Legends number 17 cover D with the Gary Frank variant cover. Oh, looky, looky, looky. Black Adam Justice Society Files Hawkman number one Cover A 
That's going to be a... Uh, it's the first time I've seen a rock rendition Black Adam. Blood Syndicate Season 1, number 3, cover B. So guess what? They didn't show the cover A, but obviously it exists that there's a cover B. Dark Crisis number 2 of 7, cover A. Cover B. Showing Batman and Wonder Girl. And then here we go. Uh, Dark Crisis number 2, cover C. The Rafa Sarmento, the homage cardstock variant cover. And then the 25 copy Mario, I'm sorry, Mario Fukilo. I hope I don't butcher that name. Cardstock variant cover, but it's a 25 copy incentive. Check that out. 50 copy Perillo cardstock. Deathstroke, what's going on with you, bro? Dark Crisis Worlds Without a Justice League Superman number one, one shot. Cover A. Here's the cover B. 25 copy incentive. DC vs. Vampires number 17. Cover A by Galea Mark. The cover B. The Matina cardstock variant cover. So, so Matina doing a cardstock zombie, or I'm sorry, vampire Harley. Pretty wild. And then Lee Re Lee getting the honor of the 25 copy incentive with the Black Canary on this one. DC versus Vampires, of course, with the Lost Boys homage. I assume this one's going to be pretty big. So DC versus Vampires, Coffin Edition number one, cover A. I don't know why it's the Coffin Edition cover A, though. That's wild. All right. Flashpoint Beyond, number three of six with a cover A. And then the, wow, cover B. And then the 25 copy David Marquez cardstock variant. Future State Gotham, number 15, cover A. Cover B in the Mike Bowden cardstock variant cover. 25 copy incentive by Raphael Albuquerque. Pushed once again from FOC to the future. Joker number 15 of 15. Joker number 15 of 15 cover B. Joker number 15 of 15 cover C. Brian Bowling. Joker number 15 of 15 cover D. There's your incentive. William Mark. Again, good to see these ones uh, being pushed back. But I wonder if that's going to do anything for the actual spec value on this one. And is Vengeance going to carry any speculation value going forward after the series or will she be forgotten in the forgotten sands justice i'm sorry 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 not just to say at all jurassic league number three man jurassic league number three cover b gustavo duarte mad magazine number 27 monkey prince number six cover a Cover B, and then the 25 copy incentive. Multiversity Teen Justice number two with your cover A by Robbie Rodriguez. The number two cover B is going to be a Stephanie Hans cardstock variant. Naomi season two, number five of six. It's going to be interesting to see where this one is. So there's your penultimate of season two. Nubia, Queen of the Amazons, number two of four, cover A by Carrie Randolph. And uh, Hawk Girl, what is you doing? And then Nubia, Queen of the Amazons, number two, Torrin Clark, delivering. Cardstock fan cover. Poison Ivy by Jessica Fong on the A cover. It's not fair because I have that, you know, red kryptonite. Uh, here's your cover B by Jenny Frisian. There's your cardstock variant. So that's neat. Here's your cover C, Claire Rowe, cardstock variant. Here is your 25 copy incentive, Pamela. Here's your Borat voice. Pamela, Pamela, I love you, Pamela. Yep, 
50 copies by Sweeney Boo, also not too bad. Christian Ward, cover F. One in 100 Jenny Frisian foil cardstock variant cover. So, uh, I, I really hope that uh, all of you Jenny Frisian variant uh, chasers, um, I hope you got deep pockets for this one. Because uh, I don't assume there's going to be a lot of stores ordering 100 copies of this one. Keep that in mind. Superman, Son of Kal-El, number 13, with a cover A by Travis Moore. Cover B by Al Kaplan. And then 25 copy incentive. Clayton Henry. Wonder Woman 789 cover A. 789 cover B. Paul Pope. And then Wonder Woman Evolution number 8 cover A by Mike Hawthorne. And then the cover B by Liam Sharp. That's your cardstock variant cover. That's uh, I gotta say, Liam, man, you you you're doing all right. Doing all right. Doing all right. On to Marvel, everybody. Our final publisher of the evening, showing us the Amazing Spider-Man number five. And then we've got the Daughterman Hellfire Gala variant. And look, um, you're never gonna see Spider-Man in this. And if you do see them in pages and they don't keep this, they, they have no interest because that, that's Spider-Man to a lot of people. Amazing Spider-Man number five, 50 copy incentive. Avengers Forever number seven. Avengers Forever number seven with the Pachico Pride variant. Black Panther number seven. Black Panther number seven with the Hellfire Gala variant, which I thought originally was a Skrull variant. Sorry, Ninth Wonder, it's a Hellfire variant. And of course, you guys know who that is? Looks like Dazzle from me. Might be somebody else. Might be might be somebody else. Let me know if I'm wrong. Black Panther number seven, Stormbreakers variant cover. You know, with the these are the like postcard variants. Marvel usually gets me with a theme or two, but I've, I've been skipping. Because it took them like five months to finish one of them. And I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to teach you guys a lesson. So no one in 12, one in, no, there is no one in 25 on Black Panther 7. That is correct, Big Remo. That is correct. Captain America Sentinel of Liberty. Comic Kingpins, I, 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 the reason why I think that, to be honest, about the uh, the, uh, the Peter not rocking the Spidey suit, or that that suit at the gala, is because Mary Jane's about to get skinned by Moira McTaggart, right? Crazy. Captain America Sentinel of Limited number two. Here is your Coelho Predator variant, which has been long delayed. And then this is the Momoko variant. Carnage number four, the Nakayama variant, no incentive. Fortnite X, Marvel Zero War number two. Fortnite X, Marvel Zero War number two, cover B by Ron Lim. And then we got the Zulo variant, the Medina variant. This one I like. Um... I don't know who is that vibranium man fighting him. So, no, I think it's one of the Fortnite characters. But still, it's a Doom variant. Fortnite X, uh, twenty-five copy incentive. Not the highest ratio though. David Nakayama, yeah, right there. So David Nakayama with the fifty copy incentive, giving you something to chase. Ghost Rider number four. Ghost Rider with the Baldion scroll variant cover. Carlos Gomez Fortnite variant. Momoko variant. Hulk number seven with the second printing. Just making sure my music's still running. Sorry. Uh, we're almost done. We're almost done, everybody. Hulk number seven with that second print, of course. Using internal art. Jane Foster with the Mighty Thor. Number two. 
Momoko variant cover. Horley variant. Momoko variant. I've already shown you. And then the, pre the, the Predator variant by you. King Conan number six of six. King Conan with the Asrar variant. And I'm glad they finally got a King Conan story out there to show how Conan becomes king. Legion of X number three. Legion of X with a Daughterman Hellfire Gala variant. And you know what? That's just that's just a business suit. Everyday work overalls for, for Havoc right there. But it's a very cool cover. So shout out to Russell Daughterman for this one. And if Havoc does actually join the X-Men in the next uh, go round and Polaris is still there and he tries to rekindle his relationship with her after uh, taking Cyclops' sloppy seconds with uh, a clone. I'm so old. Did I say that out loud? The drama. Legion of X number three with the Davia variant. Sabretooth number five of five. So it's going to be interesting to see how this crazy Mindscape story wraps up. The Momoko variant. The Wolf variant. Star Wars, the Halcyon Legacy, number four of five. The Lamming variant cover. The Sliny Connecting variant cover. Thor, number 25, second printing. What if Miles Morales, number five of five. And then, of course, your action figure variant cover showing you the Captain America Miles. Excellent, number five. The Edge variant for Excellent number five looks amazing. And then we've got X-Men Hellfire Gala number one. The Art Germ variant, which, you know, when I saw this initially, I was excited. And then I realized how extremely similar. Oh, uh, let's just say it's reused. X-Men number one with her kind of doing uh, a similar thing with her in the uh, classic suit. I mean, I get it. It's a different suit, and Campbell's the king of that kind of stuff. Uh, but when you do a high ratio incentive on these, it's kind of a little bit like, meh, no. I dig this variant a lot. Dragota variant cover. Nice. Hellfire Gala Gomez promo variant cover, of course. The 25 copy incentive by Art Adams, I have a feeling, is going to be a, a hit. And then, of course, Adam Hughes delivering a 50-copy incentive, also not too shabby, and check it out, She-Hulk, Scarlet Witch, and Black Widow, and not a single one of them is a mutant because uh, Scarlet Witch is a reincarnated mutate. And then here it is, everybody, your 100-copy incentive by Art Germ, your virgin variant for X-Men Hellfire Gala number one. Wrapping up this episode of The Secret Variant, I hope you enjoyed the content and of course if you did that means you're smashing that like button and if you're watching this one on the rewind or not live you're leaving me a comment below and if you're not a subscriber to the channel and would like to tune in next week to another fun episode of the secret variant you can comment with us and join the live stream then and uh that is why i thank you for watching this episode of the secret variant be currently the uh the most active show on the channel because uh well you know i'm up to some things so subscribing is important for a lot of reasons. And uh, let's talk about this for a second here. My son is out of daycare and starting school in the fall. So uh, it's a little bit harder for me to take an entire day, Wednesday, putting the final touches on a podcast that I start on Monday, putting together all the work. The work for the presser is a lot. While I am missing the Wednesday night interaction with you all, look for me to make appearances on other shows while I am in a little bit of a retooling mode because we are going to be retooling the Wednesday night comic book presser. It will be back. Will it look the same? Mm, I don't know. Subscribe and find out. And of course, uh, if you uh, aren't subscribing to the channel, I only hang out with cool people. So if we don't hang out here, I got bad news for you. But I want to say thanks again for watching, everybody. Please, of course, subscribe. Don't forget to leave me a comment below if you're watching on the Rewind. Liking and sharing the video is always appreciated. 
And again, you guys are the best chat on YouTube. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. I will see you all next time. Be on the lookout for where I'm going to show.